Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about visual shaders and conditionals. I'm going to go over one example of a conditional, and a lot of the other conditionals we'll be going over in other topics. Conditionals are basically questions. If this, then that. Is it true? Is it false? So in this case, I want to ask the question, does this material have textures or doesn't it have a texture? So we're going to right click and I'm going to go to conditional and I'm going to go down to variables first. We could use a Boolean constant, but in this case, I'm going to use a Boolean uniform. I'm going to call this has texture base. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to functions. I'm going to go all the way down until I see switch. And now this is where we're going to plug our Boolean into. Is it true or is it false? By default, all Booleans are false. So if it's true, we're going to plug our texture into true. And then I'm going to make a color uniform. I'm going to plug this into false. I'll just call this base color and plug this in. And then if we come back to our material, we can of course adjust our color because it's false by default. And then if we turn this on, our texture will show up. Another thing that we can do is we can ask another question. Does my texture have a tint? So I'm going to copy the vector switch and the uniform. And I'm going to say, does the base color texture have a tint? And if it's false, we're going to keep on going. If not, we're going to multiply texture by our base color. Plug that into there, and I'll plug this into the end result. And we'll come over here, and we'll take a look. If we change our color all the way to white, it'll seem no different. But if we add a color to it, it'll now be tinted. All right, guys, this covers visual shaders and conditionals. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, Please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.